This is so slow. Seriously, how long do you think this would take without the speeding up? Dear God. That idiot's stuck. Got you. Silver Sword you. I got chest key for some odd reason, but whatever. And I'll fire you. You can also rush ahead. Uh, and this guy can pretty much take care of these guys. And X. And there goes the lightning fast reflexes of Ross and uh, Rush Forward again. Oh wow, Brave Sword. That actually could have done some damage to her. But she won't hit him. Steel Lance, whatever. Wait a minute, I didn't get the Brave Sword, did I? No, I don't believe it said I could get one from him. I don't know. 5,000 gold, that's actually very helpful, considering this game. <clears throat> you can use the money to purchase stuff for the arena crap. It's actually very helpful to get 5,000 gold. That's the purchase of one of those items, if, as long as you have the silver card, at least. Because you do have to keep paying for weapons in order to fight in this place to begin with, so... Might as well have something along those lines, right? Alright. Killer Axe that. Hit Axe this guy. Got Torch. I don't know why the hell he gave me a Torch, but okay. Alright, I'm pretty much going to... Oh, no, that won't work either. I'm trying to get, like, all the chests, but that might be kind of difficult, because that might take a while to get to. Alright, Renak, rush ahead. Okay, that guy doesn't move. Cool. So I can go at him at, like, the very end and basically kill the crap out of him. And... What the hell? Everyone's, like, like 10s and 12s? This guy is level 3. Wow, what a pathetic unit. So, for some reason, he doesn't move. Alright, that's cool. I'll, I'll take it. And axe. Uh, why the hell did I move like that? Silver bow that guy. Natasha can kill him. And Gilliam can kill him. Alright, almost done. Two guys left. So now, I can basically speed this up for the rest of the bit. Alrighty then. Renak is basically going to treasure, acquisition, all this stuff. Oh, son of a bitch. I sent a steel. I sent the silver sword. Alright, time to make my way to that other chest. No, I don't want to quit. This is too awesome right now. Oh, I took the wrong way, didn't I? Now I have to go the long way. Boy! Thank you for the phys- ooh, physic. That's actually really good. Cool. Uh, that actually is worth a lot of money, so that would be a good way to get some extra money. And that's the map clear. One more map, so it seems. I don't know if there's only seven or if there's more. I don't remember. Tower of Volney, seven. You can now use Orson, all right. We got a new character, guys. Say hello to Orson, and you also get some awesome items for this. Cool. As you can see, Orson starts off as a level 13 paladin, while Kaelic is only level 48. Or 12, sorry. Uh, Orson does get more skill and speed. However, Kaelic is going to get more strength and defense, and resistance. And apparently Orson has really shitty luck, too. Okay, uh, whatever. Yeah, Orson, I'm going to give him a 3 out of 10. Yeah, he's pretty friggin' bad. He is the worst unit we can basically use so far, because he is just really bad. He comes with really bad stats, and uh, the only thing he comes cool with is weapons. So as long as you yoink those, uh, you're good. So let's sell that nice red gem. And now we can steal his rune sword and silver sword. Alright then. Time to give uh, this guy back his weapons, so he had a silver sword, and let's all we'll give him a killer edge, and how about an elixir? Alright then. Ross is running out of hand axe usage, so that's totally pointless to give to him. Let's give him the tomahawk. Yeah, why not? Uh, and everyone else is pretty much happy at this point. No one really has any bad weapons, so... In this one, 
there's a bunch of gaps. How the hell are we going to get over these? Well, as you progress, they will create bridges to these next areas, and that's basically how it works. Uh, is there chests to be had? There are not, so I could pretty much just say screw Renak at this point. Let's do that. Screw you, Renak, and let's bring Erica, so we can at least check the inventory and screw around with our items. Alright, uh, might as well loot, loot up, and let's go. Again, going to be speeding this up, because God forbid I'm not going to... Jesus, just take it too long. Let's steal that rune sword, though. And I will show off the uh, rune sword, because it does look kind of cool. Yep, it's back from the first game, and it still kind of sucks. Because, you know, it's just not that great of a weapon. I don't know. This doesn't gain the uh, attack bonus. It goes for magic skill, which isn't that great, especially considering the people who use it are melee attackers, so... Yeah, not gonna help that much. Who can I... Oh, hey, Mir. I could fix the light brand. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I could also do... Yeah, I should probably save it for the legendary weapons, though. That would be more pertinent to save that for. Boy, oh, yeah, this is taking forever. But whatever. It's alright, in my opinion. And once you kill all the enemies, the bridge builds itself. So you can basically run across and basically deal with that. What the hell? Why does the thing keep stopping? Yeah, like, every time you move a space, something happens. Yeah, like, stops for a second. What the hell's that? That's really odd. Hmm. Do I just not notice that before? Like, it stops, and then... That's really weird. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like everything you step on triggers an event. That's really odd. Yeah, that, 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 that can't be normal. Just start s stepping for a little while before he finally stops. That's weird. Why am I still using the rune sword? Oy, I'm gonna waste the uses already on the damn thing. I could have just sold the rune sword. Like, you get a lot of money for the rune sword. That would be a fun trap if the bridge disappeared. That would be a very funny trap. But it doesn't. It just continues building itself. Alright, there goes that guy, and now Ross can rush ahead. Again, and this stupid... This is really annoying me. Or like, every time you move it, like, it stops for a second. It's just so simplistic of a complaint, but it's just so weird. I don't know. No, actually move Joshua. Ross is pretty much just going to rush ahead and take care of everything, isn't he? Ah, that seems like it's going to be how it works. So I might as well not even move anybody. Let's just have Ross do this entire mission. Yeah, who wants to see that? That actually sounds like fun. Let's see Ross do everything. Except those guys are now moving from behind me. But whatever. Ow. Oh boy, the killer axe broke. Well, now I'm using the tomahawk and getting rid of all those uses. Great. Well, let's go with uh, the silver axe now. Oh boy, this is really entertaining. Oy. I'll stick with... Ooh, these guys can all range attack me, so I'll stick with the tomahawk. Ow. Oh shit, they're all gonna go for Naimi. Crap, I gotta fix that now. Can't just sit there and let everything be everything. So, great. They're really attacking Naimi, aren't they? Divine. Gilliam. Joshua. Alright, that's the end of those guys, and Ross can pretty much take care of this guy with his Silver Axe. And finally, these Gargoyles, who are not going to do a whole lot. Wait, is the boss seriously a Javelin? Seriously? That's your weapon you gave to him? I mean, oh my boy. Uh, I don't know. These guys are not that threatening at all. Here, take the light brand for all of its two usage, and go kill that guy. And Erica can take care of the last guy on the battlefield. Bam. 
Oh wait, there's one more. Who who's left? Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Rolls wins. Map clear. Proceed to the next floor. Yep. Welcome to Tower of Olney, floor eight. Sorry, this is just all sped up. You can now use Rive. Okay, thank God we got Rive. Now you may be saying, why the hell are you saying thank God we got Rive? Well, let me say this. Rive is the only good secret character, in my opinion. He comes with okay stats, his magic is pretty shitty, but his defense and resistance are okay enough where that he's actually okay of a unit. He is the only secret character I think I would actually recommend. Yeah. So, well, actually, I kind of would recommend Leon. Leon's alright, but still, just not that much. He does come with an S and Light magic, though, which means you can use that S rank spell with him, which is actually kind of a good point. In other words, you can pretty much also sell that blue gem he gives you, as well as the ore and the purge. But actually, I can give the purge to, uh... Natasha, and she can make some pretty okay usage of it. So let's do that, shall we? Divine, and alright. So let's see what this is. I believe this might actually just... Yeah, I think this is. This is the final floor, I think. Holy shit, he gives you a wind sword? Oh my god, I didn't know that. That's awesome. So as you can see, this is a pretty huge looking map. This is the scene where uh, Kaelic crushed the stone of Jahana. Or not Jahana, uh, Frelia. And this is the scene of where it showed. It even showed this chest. So I wonder what's inside that chest. Well, let's find out. I'm pretty sure floor 8's the last floor, so... Get him gone, let's get Renak, and let's form up. Ross is going to want to be here so he can take care of that entire dungeon, and Ken Garrick's going to be right here so he can take care of that entire place. Renak's going to be in the middle, and that should be good. Save, 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 and let's go. Again, I'm going to be speeding up. Sorry, guys, but, I mean, aren't you glad I'm speeding up? <laughs> Silver sword, don't want to waste that killer action, or the brave sword just yet. Aw, oh, shit, he doesn't have a lot of sword usage. Uh... Let's go into the... Here, supply. This. Um, crap, running out of good weapons. Alright, I'll take Siglinde for herself. Uh, and I could actually just uh, trade this iron sword to him. He'll do good with that. Alright, and iron sword it up, and he should be fine. Natasha will basically sit right here and purge the crap out of some losers. Holy crap, she can use that easily. Ish. Well, she does have enough con to almost use the whole thing perfectly. Holy crap, she can one-hit this guy! Boom! All 51 HP down in one fell shot. Don't worry about wasting purge shots. You can just go to the secret shop and buy some more, so it's not really that important. There's very few things you can't buy in the secret shop. A few of those things being a master seal, which there would be no point to because it just gives you all the level up items you'll need anyway, and also the wind sword it does not give you either, but that's fine. Why did that one Cyclops have 51 HP and that one only had 40? What a weak ass Cyclops that was. Now this one is 52, like what the hell? They're just all over the place in HP. Oh, if he got a critical, he would have killed that guy. Ugh. Funny story about those guys, I can't see them anymore without thinking of Ella Rachel. Why? Because uh, I did a hack one time and I made Ella Rachel one of those guys. It was actually pretty funny. You know, her, her, her color kind of fit a little bit for the guys. It was, it was pretty silly. Must say. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense by triangle. Weapon triangle. Logic. And there's that 30 in attack I was looking for. Thank god Ross got it. So now Ross has maxed three of his stats, I think? HP and attack? I don't remember. 
but now he can do 50 points of damage. That's awesome, with the Garm. So against those walls last turn, he could have been able to one-shot the wall. That's crazy. Ross really is just an awesome unit all around. I love Ross. Oh, great. Shadow Shot, are you shitting me? I need to use the purge on that asshole because he's just all the way up there. I don't feel like sitting through like 30 Shadow Shots as he hampers my army. Oh, I'm supposed to be speeding up. Yeah. What the hell? I totally forgot. Alright, purge. Where's Shadow Shot, douchebag? There you are. Bye. Tomahawk. And, uh, Naomi can take care of this guy with the silver bow. Gosh, that was a pretty good low up. Alright, Joshua, make sure you get a critical here. Or don't get a critical. Thank you for that. I'll move you up, and no one's going that way, apparently. Whatever. I pretty much don't need to have anyone going that way. Knack run up. Blue run up. Nope, and Joshua never criticaled that guy once. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Again. Of course the Rune Sword guy attacks second. What the hell was that noise? Did it spawn some more people? I think it did. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, let's just take care of him. Does she have an A now? Oh, right, she does. Well, Natasha's actually doing really well for herself. In fact, wish she, yeah, she's level 15. She's like the second highest level unit I have. Why is she so high leveled next to Ross? But Ross is always going to be my high level unit. That's to be expected. He's almost level 20 already. Silver sword, and that guy's dead. And Joshua can rush ahead. What the hell is that noise? Is there stuff falling? I forget if that's actually what happened. Like, stuff falls. From the ceiling, I believe. I can't remember if that's this chapter or another. Or, I don't know. Whatever. Talking out of my ass again. I got that sniper thing again. I'm pretty sure that just assures hitting. So, that's not too important. Yeah, I kind of wish I made Naimi a, uh, whatchamacallit again. Like a ranger. Yeah. She would do better as a ranger, I think. Ow. Yeah, I am getting hit by stuff. What the hell am I getting hit by? That's annoying. Erica doesn't need one. <clears throat> it does like 10 damage, so it's really not that harmful. It's kind of annoying, though. There goes the spear guy, and Ross rush ahead. Ow, son of a bitch. Stop hitting me with whatever it is. Uh... Joshua can rush ahead to, eh, you know, I think I'm going to have Erica rush ahead with a rune sword so she can heal back her lost HP. Thank you. Ow, son of a bitch. I'm just getting my units hit at this point. Like, what? what's falling? This doesn't make sense. All right, Erica, rush ahead with your silver sword. And he can rush ahead with his killer lan or killer sword. And that guy's dead. Ross can rush ahead a bit too. And there goes a devil axe guy. Alright, time to take care of the boss. So, I guess I won't speed up for this part, but, I mean, might as well. Uh, just, uh, kill him. Yeah, I've been recording a lot today. I'm months kind of baked at this point. <laughs> Too much recording. Oh, well. Time to end this guy's life. Ross, do the honors. Fuck you and your tower. Good night. And we get the wind sword. Congratulations! Boom, 1666. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's pretty good then. I guess that's an okay score. Epilogue, save. Creature campaign. Alright then. With that, 
we have finished the Tower of Volney. Holy shit, that took a long time. Well, when we come back on Boss SLP next time, we're going to... What, what the hell am I doing? Stop it. We're going to go to the Lagdo Ruins. See you guys for that next time. Bye.